I'm exhausted. I wonder who Steven brought in today. Hey, what is up guys and gals and all in between? My name is Ginge King and welcome back to Autopsy Simulator. I believe we are on chapter two. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I already played a little bit of this chapter yesterday. I was recording, I had a family emergency and I was also having technical issues with the game. And I thought that if I exited out, it would save my progress and that I wouldn't have to restart the entire shift over, but I was gravely mistaken. And for some reason, instead of starting me off in the morning at my apartment, it starts me off right here in front of the place. You didn't miss anything much at the apartment besides a bird hit my window, but uh, that's about it. So I'm gonna know what goes on halfway through this chapter. Good morning, Mr. Ridley. No, oh, he's not here yet? No, I'll do without him. As soon as Mr. Red Pete gets out of jail here, Ridley just disappears. Now, either Mr. Red Pete has murdered Ridley, or they're having a beer talking about how much they hate me, or Mr. Ridley is shoved in one of those coffins over there. We can't be really sure. I hope he... Oh, come on. He was too lazy to even wield a gurney to the autopsy room. Too fucking... Too lazy. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this right here. Does this look like a lazy man? Does somebody who makes Ridley's famous chili sound like a lazy person? I just think Jack needs to be more nicer to him, honestly. Ridley's done nothing wrong. Oh, what's that? Who's running the sink in here? Ridley! Huh? Huh? Who's in there? Get out! What the fuck? Ah! I don't know why that scared me twice. I knew what was going to happen, but like, I thought that I would miss the jump scare, so I was sitting in the corner purposely watching for it, but I didn't see no spirit or nothing, so it's just sounds. Now I got my pills. And we're gonna be fine and happy. There's a brush here. I can spin the brush. It's for my hair, I guess. I don't or maybe my wife's hair. That, did my wife even work with me? I haven't been paying attention. Come on, Jack. You need some empty booze. You need booze, Jack. Oh, there we go. Booze. Give me him. Nope. I didn't search these drawers last time, so you never know. There might be secrets here. Archives. Archives. Just as lifeless as the corpses they concern. Why can I pull these out? Is this just interactive stuff? Is there no secrets? I need a secret. Pathology. How to combine the hands of a surgeon, the passion for a good mystery, and an exceptionally strong stomach. Oh, Jack, your way with words. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's fucking with my radio? Almost there. Now for the tough part. The body needs to be moved. Uh, where's Ridley when you need him? Come on, are you telling me you're not as strong as like seven-year-old Rid Ridley? All right. I just need some gloves and my apron. Then I can get to work. Pop. Put the apron on. We're gonna I'm fucking going to speed run this body, this. okay? This is gonna be the quickest body ever autopsied. I don't even know if that's the proper word for it. Voice recorder, sorry. Forgot that. Pop. Autopsy dated November 22nd, 1991. 7.32 p.m. Led by Dr. Jack Hanman. I begin by verifying the identity of the Jane Doe. It's most likely Harper Lloyd, age 35, found in a well-owned house by her neighbors, Leonard and Dorothy Chelsea, reported missing for a week. A whole week? It is week. also known that the deceased was diagnosed with they a just did not give a fuck disorder. about her. Harper was placed on drug therapy, which she dropped out of fairly regularly. During her treatment, she was under the care of her common-law partner, Richard Benson, professional truck driver. The last person who had contact with the deceased was her partner. Harper's last message read as follows. I'm gonna take a shit in their stupid well. Then we'll see who has the last laugh. 
<laughs> nice one. You got an old chuckle out of Jack here. You know, n nothing makes Jack feel anything anymore. Not even the ghost of his dead wife. Nope, don't give a fuck. But that, that little choke right there, it really Police made his day. also show that Mrs. Lloyd was in constant conflict with her neighbors. The constant parties and subsequent brawls made living in the area nearly impossible, especially when Lloyd's partner wasn't around. I noted this the first time when I came around and see this picture, but like, guys, what the fuck am I actually looking at? This is not any sort of neighborhood that I've seen before. Is this AI generated? Or is this a real fucking place? Or did he just like make these houses in Photoshop? I don't, it doesn't look real. It it's, looks so fucking weird that anyone would fucking live here. I just had to point that out. I apologize. Let's continue. Firefighters found the body after the Chelsea family began complaining that their tap water tasted strange. And at one point, had begun to smell and turn a dark color. I proceed to open the bag and check the state of decomposition of the corpse. The most important task in forensic identification of a drowned person is to distinguish whether the death occurred before or after entering the water. All right, guys, who's ready for the big face reveal? What does a drowned person look like? Guess what? It's okay. awful. It's just worse. fucking awful. It's I carefully removed just as disgusting as I remember yesterday. By the power of Jack, I shall remove her clothes with my mind. The deceased was found and she was missing. I'm going to need the camera to document all possible suspicious marks. You don't need the camera. You just want the camera, you sick fuck. Definitely the first thing that stands out is the very advanced post-mortem gigantism. Yeah, let's get let's get a good picture of that post-mortem gigantism here. There we go. That's I want I want the eyeball involved. There we go. The skin ah. of the deceased appears very delicate. Beautiful smooth, picture, Jack. That's going up in the autopsy the journals. For a long time. The whole body is extremely pale. Not extremely pale. I would just say like the tiniest bit pale, maybe. You're exaggerating it just a tiny bit, there Jack. There's some obvious scratches on the skin. I mean, this is just about as pale as my skin. Okay, let's get a picture of the hot dog fingers. The skin on Yummy. The can be easily separated from the body. The separation takes the form of a glove. The form of a glove. A disgusting wet skin glove. Oh, look at that. She spent a little bit too much time in the bath recently. The so-called washerwoman's skin on the feet. The deceased had, indeed, been in the water for a long time. Well, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but these are like some of the best pictures that I've ever seen taken by a autopsy Post doctor. Post-mortem markings are seen on the underside of the or body. Or forensic doctor. Where the fuck my name is? Back, I don't know. Thighs and calves of the deceased. Am I a pathologist? Is that what I am? Somebody tell me. Hold on. I gotta get the gotta get the eyeball here. Can't can't not get the eyeball. Just gotta line it up perfectly. And pop. There are bruises and hemorrhages on the neck. These usually occur due to increased inhalation when fighting to breathe underwater. Fuck, which are what oh wait. What did I forget to take a picture here? Oh, what is that? What, is, what am I looking at? It's likely that the deceased was lying on her back when she was fished out. All right, guys. I think we are up for an Emmy with all these pictures right here. Pop, 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 pop. So, after the preliminary exam, it's time to take a closer look at this. All right, let's perform the autopsy. The We're going to speed run through this, like I said. Closed. Rigor mortis does not need to be checked. Because I'm going to give you a little game, spoiler here. He sure fucking drowned. Excited. When you find somebody stuck in a well, after they said they're going to go shit in said well, they probably fucking drowned. Magnifying glass. Hmm. Where does, there are obvious scratches on the skin, especially on the back and hands. These could be defensive wounds, evidence of some sort of altercation prior to death. The spots have a purplish blue red hue, which is a typical sign of the death of the organism. 
Sausage fingers. Come on, come on. I'm magnifying the sausage fingers. What do you, what do you want from me? Game? No obvious there we signs go. of struggle. The skin on the hands would have easily peeled away from the flesh. Some of the fingers have already lost their nails. Jack, I think you just really want me to peel that fucking hand flesh off. And if you make me do that later on to the fact that in the, the autopsy, I'm going to be very upset. Time, her feet are in better condition than her hands. <laughs> Nevertheless, we can still notice a clear, wavy skin and the so-called washerwoman's skin texture. Ah, uh, yes, the so-called washerwoman's skin texture. I do not believe in such a skin texture, but it looks exactly like yep, that. Pretty typical. Liver mortis are formed as a result of putrefaction. Can we get away from her crotch, please? There's nothing I find more vile than a drowned woman's crotch. Let's just get the fuck away from that. We see thick white foam in the mouth of the deceased, resulting from pulmonary edema. What foam happened is a to the eyeball? Deaths due to drowning. Also, does that look like foam to you guys, or does it look like she's wearing a tinier set of lips? You tell me. Okay, that's probably <laughs> enough to indicate so a direction gross. for further examination. Clipboard. Put that down in the records. Those Pop. abrasions appear relatively fresh. No healing or scarring is visible. Pop. Hands heavily wrinkled from submersion in water. Typical washerwoman's skin. Stop mentioning the washerwoman's skin. Penchant for drinking He's writing two things at once. Jack is like using accident. both hands. He's dexterous or whatever the fuck it is. The few spots are caused by blood rotting in the veins. There doesn't seem to be anything. Yes, he's doing more. Jack, I didn't know you were so amazing. This is incredible, Jack. Marks found on the neck and foaming at the mouth. We could have had him writing signs of five things at once if we really wanted to. <laughs> maybe it's just an abrasion. Or maybe the result of a fight and being pushed into a well. Fortunately, the skin on the hands didn't fall off. Otherwise, I'd have trouble identifying the deceased. A simple trip, loss of balance, and... As a result, you end up in a deep hole with no way out. Yes, yes, that is most color, likely what happened. Poisoning with carbon monoxide, cyanides, or nitrates. However, this is not the case here. Their distribution suggests that the victim was probably lying on her back when fished out of the water. In this case, the question is, was drowning an accident or of suicidal intent? That's all for now. How are we going to find the suicidal intent? We already got intent. She said she was going to shit in the well. Okay? So, I don't understand what's the difference between falling and drowning and how we can determine more in intent Before I begin than what she said she was going to do. I'll make sure the suggested identity is correct. The suitcase with the fingerprint equipment should be around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. If the body of the deceased is well preserved, fingerprinting is similar to that of a living person. I find it very. In oh, no way! I just clicked out of the fucking. This game hates it when I spin around the objects and then click off the screen. It just fucks everything up. It keeps doing it. It did it yesterday, and I was doing it again today. The fingerprint sheet should always be checked. Slipping fingers, too much or too little ink, or inaccurate hand position can make fingerprints illegible. Also, spinning around like a basketball will make it illegible. I apologize for my constant spinning of With things. I just bodies, can't help myself. The it's just so fun. The Look at it. To, shrink. to remove these shrinkages, you telling me you never wished you could spin something this fast in your life? <laughs> All right. I wasn't paying attention to anything you were saying, but that's because I don't need to. I'm going to conduct a dactyloscopic examination. If in fact the deceased is in the police database. Uh, no, I did not mean to skip it. God, I am fucking up this episode Glycerin so much. Glycerin is injected successively between the nail and the skin of each finger. The substance then enters the fingertip, removing shrinkage and wrinkles. See, guys, doesn't this look like the hot dog, like, after you cooked it on the grill and you got leftover hot dogs and you don't want to throw them away and you put them in the fridge? Doesn't this look like what happens to them when you take them out the next day? They're just all, like dehydrated and shriveled we just need to put some glycerin and air back into them and look at that they're brand new hot dogs I dare say this is almost as equally disgusting 
is taking the brain out. I don't know why. We're just pumping air into the fingertips, but it's so fucking gross. We have an ID. Didn't we fucking... Didn't we have the parent now come in and ID or something? Like Only when the skin is taut and elastic can you use ink. I think it's enough. It's not enough, Doctor. We need more. Samples. We need to cover her whole entire hand here. The whole finger. <laughs> we need everything. More ink! More! There's still some more on the end here. I can see it. Okay, there we go. We put it back. In the case of drowning victims, you have to be extremely careful. <laughs> the skin may fall off the hand like a glove when you take the print. I wish the game would give me a fucking quick time event. Let me fail so I can see what he's talking about. Because it sounds so fucking gross. But yet, you don't give me the option to fail. Let me see the skin peeling. I'll use the fax machine to add the print into the system. Let's go to the fax machine. Oh, wait, nope. Fax machine's over here. I did this last time. Green button and... Ha! Once the data upload, great. The data is there. Click upload. Now, go through the database and find a matching print. Expect possible hours of fun. You see, instead of taking hours, we're going to use our simple deduction here and say that all of these thumbprints look different besides one. Would you look at that? It's like Dora the fucking Explorer. Pop. Hmm. Can you see the thumbprint? One more. Let's identify the drowned body. Analyze button. You did it! Send the identification to the police. And we have a result. Everyone has a story to tell. Even if it's just a police record. Jack, there was no need to throw that so, into your fucking tape that you're recording here. The deceased turned out to be Harper Lloyd. Your God. That went smoothly. I'll print this out and attach it to the medical records. Miss Lloyd, you do not look happy at all. I can dare say that you look almost better on the table. Well, it's the world's fastest Great. printer. My now God. Now I can go back to my inspection. Got four missed calls also. I should be uh worried about that, but apparently I'm not. Return the autopsy. Okay. We have identified you, ma'am. The name of the deceased. I'll start the internal examination by taking fluid from the victim's brain. A needle inserted through the nose will do the trick. Hope you don't mind, ma'am. We just need to take a little sample well. from your brain. Just gonna shove this fighting for her life. right and up there. Diatoms, characteristics of pooled water like a well, got into the body. All right, ma'am. We're just gonna take a little bit of this green juice out of your brain. Oh, actually, it's still red juice. I'm very confused on what this yellow stuff is. I'm sure that he told me before, but I was not paying attention. In the meantime, <laughs> I'll check the sample under the microscope. I'm sure that these algae traces will be found in the samples taken from the well where police found the body. Now I need to adjust the knobs properly and place the diatom in the center of the slide. Diatoms are single-celled microscopic algae. Jack, you never stop fucking talking. I won't even notice it. You never even explained, like, what to do. Great. This way I'll see if I'm dealing with a large concentration of these algae. I'm glad that you guys didn't have to see me go through this yesterday because it took me literally like seven minutes oh, to figure out I'm what the fuck Jack was wanting. Here. Nah, too much light. Oh, <laughs> I'm finally starting to see something here. And it's then, not a, right yeah, perfect. here. Perfect. Pa. All right. Now we must find the diatoms. What a diatom looks like, you may ask. Well, Jack never fucking explains it because Jack's a piece of shit. The diatome is not that. I already forgot what a diatome looks like, and I did this literally fucking yesterday. So maybe me and Jack are perfect for each other because we seem to be the same amount of fucking stupid. God damn it, where? Where's the diatome? There it is. As Found you. Expected, you little bitch. We find the aforementioned algae in the solution. Or the algae, the sorry. The upper part, epitheca which overlaps the lower, hypotheca, is clearly visible. 
The presence of diatoms in the brain samples taken indicate that the deceased was certainly alive when she fell into the water and was possibly conscious. Let's Since hope that she wasn't conscious. In the brain, it means that many more of them must have entered the body. <laughs> Studies of the rest of the organs will most likely confirm this hypothesis. I can finally get to the practical part. Ah, yes, your favorite part, you mean. You just love I must slicing be extra up. Extra careful, people. because the skin of the deceased is very stretched. I wouldn't want an explosion here. Here, guys, you hear that, guys? We gotta be super careful. No explosions. Very careful. Oh, you were slicing up bodies, Jack. I learned the way of the blade! Let's! Careful this, careful that! Who's gonna be careful when you're dead, Jack? Get that fucking last in there. Get that last in! Get, get, get it! Saw it! Saw it like you're cutting a steak! There we go. You see that right there? You might wonder, what's that moving thing in there? Is there a fish trapped in the body? Nope. It's just disgusting flesh. Very large mucus thing. The organs. In addition, all internal organs are very congested. I proceed to remove the rib gauge. I proceed to use I proceed to remove the rib cage with the same loppers that I used to take care of those blackberry bushes last it's week. It's easy to see that the ribs have been imprinted in the lungs. So, I'm going to start by drawing blood from the lungs for testing for diatoms. God damn, why do we if need to look for all the diatoms, the man? Lungs, this it's would not mean that important. That the victim was placed in the well after death, and the perpetrator wanted to get rid of the corpse in this way. Now, I remove the lungs and proceed well, to their examination. I'm going way too far ahead of myself. We wouldn't want to be looking at their microscope just yet. Taking the lungs in my hand, I feel that the tissues have lost their elasticity which is the result of water emphysema. In addition, there is significant swelling of the organs, and as a result, we have a nice imprint of the ribs. The emphysema itself, it's clear how far it's progressed, which is characteristic of drowning. They are not as fun to spin either, as you would say a heart or a brain. Corpses found in water are worth examining with a tomograph. However, I can't count on such luxuries. So I must reach for a more archaic technology. A bucket and water. A bucket and water, guys. A motherfucking bucket and water. All this science equipment here, and we gotta use a fucking bucket and water. I'm gonna prepare you guys. I'm not... I'm... Now, I'm not gonna play around with you guys. Some spooky shit's about to happen, as you can see here. <gasps> Who's that? Ridley, is that you from a distance and I just can't see you right? Ridley? Are you Red Pete? Who are you, spirit? Come at me, demon! Do not hide behind a door like a coward! Face me! Don't you slink around there, you little fucking pervert? Who the fuck are you? Huh? Who? <laughs> Who? Has anyone been here? I hope no one dipped a mop in it. It's <laughs> best to go to the lab for this. <laughs> Why? What's what's with the tone shift? I don't understand. Get your priorities straight, Jack. Historically, the lung float test is used to detect infanticide. You like that historical fact with Jack, the water huh? Water should be at room temperature. You you feel happier knowing that Jack told That's you enough. that useful information about infant side? No? To test for this, I have to place the lungs in a container of water. This checks if there is air in the lungs. And speaking of lungs, everything is ready to bring hey. them here. Oh, 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 what the fuck? I did not see that before. That... That didn't happen before. Okay. That was a little bit spooky. That was a little bit spooky. I'm still not <clears throat> thoroughly course, spooked. I feel pretty safe here. Isn't without flaws. If Red Peach air shows up, then I won't feel airways safe. During resuscitation attempts. Gases released during decomposition could also give a false result. 
just going to rip out her lungs right here. Make sure she doesn't get back on that table. Why don't you take the spine, too? If she doesn't have a spine, the ghost can't really control her body. But I'm going to go move this finely prepared in lung case, dish however, it's about into the bucket. Else. Namely, the amount of fluid in the lungs. To test for this, I have to place the lungs in a container of water and wait to see if they fall or if they will float on the surface. All right, are you guys ready to see the most scientific method in all of science right here? Behold, the lung test. They sink. Just as I assumed. By lungs God. Easily. It's elementary, Watson. Of course they would have sinked. Give me those lungs back. Ah, yes, these will be perfect for the highest. As you know, Jack is a cannibal who feasts on the bodies Fluid of the recently could have deceased. entered the lungs during panic attempts to catch breath underwater, but it could also be the result of bacterial infections or cancer. So further investigation is needed. Spirits, I'm gonna go check over here. You know what? I have this pair of lungs right here, and I don't think these ghosts are ballsy enough to come try to kill me while I'm holding said lungs. Oh, Ridley, you're back. I thought Red Pete got you. I never came over here to check on you. Ridley, look, I have lungs. Ridley, Ridley, wake up, Ridley. Ridley, look, I did the water test. Look at me, Ridley. Fine, fuck you, Ridley. Uh, I feel so much more at calm and peace knowing that Ridley is here. I was like certain that Ridley got murdered. Now no ghost can harm me with the power of my pills and Ridley. We shall be invulnerable. I move on to dissecting the lungs of the deceased. All right. This is where I left off yesterday. After you this moment, I know nothing else pleasant of what of goes on. Being cut through. Ah, yes. Sounds just like a Rice crispy treat after you pour some milk on it. The parenchyma is remarkably pale, although small hemorrhagic foci and petechia are present on the surface. Jack, you're just making up these words now. I don't fucking believe a single <sighs> thing you said. All right. Now, I will check the collected fluid under a microscope. Dear God, if why did we- If we find 20 diatoms on the slide, it can be considered drowning, and our result is not false positive due to possible contaminations. Let's see... Who How set my microscope back easily? to normal? I won't even notice an army of diatoms. Hmm. Oh, I'm fine. And perfect. There we go. All right. Diatoms, diatoms, algae, where are you? Where are you, you little shifty fuckers? I know you're around here somewhere. Do I have to count more than 20? Are they just gonna be floating around individually? That's gonna be horse shit. There you are, you little fuckers. You thought you could hide from me. Uh, That's definitely more than expected. 20. In solution, the diatoms are clearly visible. There Why's are that smaller out? and larger clusters of them. There will definitely be more than 20 of them. Is there a sensor on some of these, like, microscopic things in here? Uh, I'll make a note of all this. Ugh, oh, I hate doing my job. I'll make a note of it, though. So far, this case looks pretty standard. It's clear from the beginning that it's drowning. Uh, well, the procedure requires me to check everything anyway. I guess we can cut out third-party involvement, even though we don't. Like, somebody could have pushed her down there while she was shitting on the, in the well, but I don't know. I guess we're just going to cross that out. Uh, do we have to do anything else? Marked it? No? No? Can I leave? So I can. I move on to checking the other <gasps> organs. Yes! I ligate the heart and then remove it for inspection. Finally! Let's rip out her heart and look at it. Yes! This Strongly is very jiggly. It makes me happy to spin it. can be seen at first glance. Apart from that... Sp no signs of a heart attack or other heart disease. No heart attack, huh? I find that to be very bullshit. Ew, look at that. There's something wrong with their heart tip. I move on to the next organ. This time, it's the liver. The liver! My fit. Oh, sorry. I was grabbing the stomach. The liver! It's immediately apparent that Equally the as fun to spin! Herself. Like most organs, also looks like a giant boxing glove if you hold it the right way. Oh, 
Could you use people's livers as a new boxing glove? Guys, I might be on to something here. The beginnings of cirrhosis are visible in some areas. I forgot what cirrhosis means. Does that mean that like it's like the drugs killing you or something like that? A board I can't remember. To dissect. Wait, why do we gotta dissect the liver? We didn't have to dissect the heart. I don't want to cut the liver in half. You're gonna make me ruin my new boxing glove. How am I gonna take on Jake Paul next summer? With no boxing glove, you fools! Oh, sorry. The cross section clearly shows dilated veins and many small hemorrhagic foci. I'll take your word for I it, Doc. I must admit that this is quite a feat, considering the rather young age of the deceased. Harper enjoyed drinking so much that she might not have lasted a few more years. It seemed like the well did her a favor then. I move on to the stomach. I take a sample of the fluid for testing. We gotta use the syringe again, man. We've been using this thing so much. We know there's diatomes. We found them everywhere. It looks very turbid. I'll see what happens after spinning, but that's in a moment. Now I carefully ligate the organ, then cut it off. Or you could just simply rip it out like this. It's large, probably full of putrid gases. I guess we won't know until we examine it. And carefully open it, checking the contents. Jack, we know damn well that you're not going to be careful about shit, okay? I want to see if this game will actually let me fuck up or if it's just going to be the red fucking dot thing every time. Because I want to see these gases. Uh, one thing you'd never get used to is how much this desk smells. No, nothing. The game won't even let me fuck up. I guess Mortuary's assistant no. then lets you fuck up with... This is too much for me. Whoa, what's going on? My what the fuck's going on? Okay. okay. <laughs> the stomach is full of fluid and unidentified... He started freaking out there, so maybe I can fuck up? Probably <laughs> leftover food. I didn't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just quickly went through. Like, I got scared. I got... So let's check the diatoms. Whoa! <sighs> Again. But in a centrifuge for a change. Whoa, the Nelly! The ground people is being able to show whether the death was due to drowning or whether something th else contributed to the I death. I think I need my Damn. pills. Heart attack, drugs, homicide, or some accident. Such an analysis requires viewing from different angles and a careful interpretation of the collected data. Ridley, those from the field. are you awake? That's Ridley. why it's so important to collect as Ridley. many samples as possible. I'm having a fucking <sighs> panic attack, Ridley. You gotta help me out. You gotta fucking help me. I'm talking normal, but also having a panic attack. There's something wrong. Give me a pill. Christ's sake. All right. There we go. Back to normal. <laughs> I, I, I should have kept going, honestly. I don't know what the f fuck was going on. Can I actually die in this game? Or is, is that what I just had blurry vision the whole time? Retrieve the notebook from the office. Where's my notebook? I have a notebook? Oh, I gotta go to my other office. God damn it, I was just down here. Oh, it's good to not be tripping on balls. Got my notebook. Don't know why. I just don't leave it in there. All right, centrifuge. Let's okay. go. This is one last little sample. Notes. Are we, are we looking for presents of alcohol? What are we looking for? Diatomes? Diatomes. Okay, 35 minutes, 25%. Easy. Put them in. Now set 35, 25, 25, pop, there we go, start. Now just don't turn around and everything will be fine. Just stare at the centrifuge, there's not any demons behind me, is there? That's what I fucking thought. Is this the first time we use the centrifuge without nothing going wrong? I think it might. Done. I'll run it directly into the chromatograph and run it against the data from the police. Come on. I know you want to take a drink. Just take a little sip, Jack. 
Nobody will know. Ridley's asleep. Uncertainty analysis will show similarities between the fluid and water in Chelsea's well. Place the samples into the rack. Where's the rack? The laboratory? Oh, wait, that is. Yes, I forgot. I forgot. I'm stupid. Gotta go to the laboratory. There wouldn't be any ghosts in here, would there? Huh. Very dark. What? Is someone pissing in this corner? I guess I will just ignore the ghost piss. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, take the pen. Let me think. Three milliliters should be fine. How do I... Oh, there we go. Twist it. Three. Stab it in there. Gonna get it on the first try. Pop, pop. What the hell am I doing? Oh, I gotta fucking jab it in there. I forgot I'm stupid. Okay. What? There we go. Now it's the chromatograph's turn. Enter the chromatograph. Insert the stem. Is this is this from the stomach or from the heart? I think this is from the stomach hmm. that I took earlier. Hmm. Yes. Yes. The water yes. sample matches the one provided by the police. Yes. Yes. It matches completely. This is the only way I can read. By the way, I cannot read with your simple methods of just staring at a paper. I must spin. Also, we still haven't acknowledged that there is a tiny little bag of meth here on the laboratory here. Uh, I don't know if well, I was testing that for the, the cops or if this is like clear. my personal stash. <sighs> I was hoping it would That's be more clearly drugs. Case. There's nothing else that could be but drugs. And I want them. Why doesn't the game... Oh, is that pain away? Is that crushing? <laughs> Am I crushing up the pain pills and then selling them on the street for extra cash? That's very smart, Jack, but also fucked up. Why is there pain pills at a fucking mortuary? I don't get it. This isn't even a mortuary, but nobody here is going to need that. Why are we fucking here? Uh, more diatoms. Analysis indicates the same origin. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you just fucking blah, blah, blah while you're recording, Jack, okay? You gotta be fucking serious. Can we say drowning? We know that she drowned. There's no There's other possibility but drowning. I'm going to check the airway patency of the deceased. Interesting. Looks like there's something stuck in the trachea. I'm Man. moving to the board for further inspection. I am so excited to cut open another trachea. Oh, come on. You didn't even move. You can't even move the stomach. I Why do we got to put it in this tray? Open the organ. Cut open the throat penis by simply... <laughs> Inside, I find a wedding ring. This is interesting. Let me look at it. I don't think I should. This is not... I don't think I should be picking this up. Based on the size, I can say that it's a woman's wedding ring. Quite 09, 13, inside, 1980. There's an engraving inside. Is that is that when I got married to my wife, 1980? 09, 13, 19... <laughs> is this my wife's ring? What the fuck? This is... My, this is my ring. This is my ring. This is ring. <laughs> oh, God damn it, we gotta take the but pills how again. It, how did this... But this should be at home. Take the I pills, Jack. Get to the pills. <laughs> At home. Get to the pills. I, I, That's enough for a day. Take your pills. No, no, no. We're I not done for the out. day. Where are my meds? We already know where, where your meds are. This is my, my third meds. time taking them. <laughs> We're fine. Christ's sake, calm down. Ridley's gonna fucking wake up and hear you screaming. Where's my meds? Where are they? I took my, I took my pills. Did I not take my pills? I just took my pills. Jack, are you trying to OD right now? We don't need to be ODing right now. I just took the pills. 
Jesus Christ. No, we're having more pills. Oh, Why, Jack? Way. Jack, we've already had 10 pills. I, I have to check people. I've already taken my pills. I'm not looking to overdose. God damn it. God damn it. Why'd I click it? I thought we were just going to take more. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt it. I'm so sorry. I keep doing that over and over. Mr. Ridley. Mr. Ridley! Mr. Ridley! That's all the ruckus. Mr. Ridley! I need, to, I need to go home. Immediately. I gotta go now. What? Now? I have to. I have to. Have you seen anyone here this morning? Anybody suspicious? You haven't oh, seen anybody by the no name of Red one. Pete, have you? It was, but only for a moment, then she left. What's wrong with you, Hammond? Okay, okay. Thanks. What about the corpse? I'll come back, I promise. Just leave the corpse there, goddammit! You don't understand! Red Pete's on the loose! He's shoving rings down people's Jesus throats Christ. and throwing them down wells! Do I, do I need to take more pills? Hold on, Jack! I'm not leaving yet without taking my next set of pills! It's the only thing I know! I just need them! Just another pill! <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Was this like a real game mechanic they meant me to do? Like to go back there and take it? This is like my 12th fucking set of pills. I am high as a fucking kite. God I, damn it. I have to check this out. Wait, am I going to go dig up my wife's body? <laughs> Where's the ring? Do I still have the ring in my pocket? If it's still in my pocket, then it's real. If it's not in my pocket, then I've gone insane. So either Red Pete snuck into here and shoved that down the victim's throat, or he killed that woman by shoving it down the throat and tossing it, tossing her down the well, because she had those marks on the side of her arm. But realistically, he probably just came in here after he died, or I'm insane. <sighs> What the fuck is this story? <laughs> this can't be real. Can't Where be is real. it? Where is it? Where is the goddamn ring? Where? Where? Who got all these trash bags out? Check the trinket box. Alice! Please, please, please be there. It's, it's, it's not here. It's not here. <laughs> Was the ring in here before? It must have been in here. You have the ring in your pocket. You could have taken it out. There's no... <laughs> Don't call Steven. Do not call Steven right now. You know what? Before we call Steven, let's take some pills. Fuck it. No, no pills? What's here? Men murdered old lady. Lone survivor worried about his wailing. <laughs> Well, I don't know why he's worried about the wailing mother. She's actually murdered, so there's nothing to worry about. What there is to worry about, though, is that Jack is, like, on 14 fucking pills. What <laughs> the fuck? I've taken the whole pill jar. They won't even give me any more. I need to go out and buy some more. This so is sick. <laughs> fuck. The pills were supposed to make you calm, Jack. Come on, Steven. Pick up the fucking phone. <laughs> What's up, man? They took the ring. What? What? What ring? What are you talking about? They took the wedding ring. Alice's wedding ring. One sec. You mean burglary? You said nothing was missing. Yes, yes, I know. The money was missing. I know that. I don't know. I, I was jittering. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't notice. I don't know, but <laughs> that's not the worst of it. Calm down, Jack. Breathe. What happened? I found it in the trachea of the deceased I was working on. Do you understand? I pulled it out of a dead woman's trachea. What? I don't. What? I don't know what's going on. Where's all the shit? Red Pete wants revenge. 
He's playing with me. Where all my shit go? There was I more shit in there. Now it's I all gone. The Jack, this is going to happen. You've lost your mind. I didn't make it up. Jack, listen to me. Try to calm down. Don't leave the apartment. I'll be with you right away. Okay? I'm on my way. Where's what all my shit? All my shit is gone. Like that? How? And when? When the fuck? Fucking Ridley lets in whoever he likes as usual. What he's what he's saying, Steve. S Steven, don't leave me, man. Come on. God damn it, Steven. I'm going out fucking insane. Oh, I need more that? pills, Steven. I need more. Okay, just calm down. No, no, no. no. We've had 14 just fucking pills today. If you think a fucking Thanks. shot is going to help you I here, it's fucking not. Just sit down and let's read this book here. What's this book about? It's not even real fucking letters on there. It's fake. We've lost our goddamn minds. The truth about religion. That's what we need. We need religion. Jesus. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing in that bottle. You've lost your goddamn mind, Jack. You're pouring yourself an imaginary drink. There's nothing there. You're drinking nothing, Jack. You've taken too many pills. What have we done? Just, just, just one sip more. Yep. <laughs> Jack, nobody's gonna fucking take you seriously now. You're gonna be passed out, fucking drunk. Jesus. <sighs> Jack, you are the most breathiest fucking voice actor I have ever met. In my life. One, six more. No, Jack. Wait, the alcohol came back. Okay. Complete chapter two. Good God. How many chapters are in this fucking game? Chapter three. Will Steven be there waiting for me? All right. I can't do it anymore. Uh, these reports will kill me one day. I'll have to finish it over the weekend. It's time to go to work. Time to go to work? Take the trash first. Uh, Jesus. Fuck. Maybe I'll just ignore it. Did Steven ever come by? Yes. Oh, hi. No, no, I, I just... <clears throat> uh, I wrote reports in those last sections, and I was just about to leave for work. I always know when to call. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Okay, nothing new. Nothing uh, new? Had a few days off. Oh, okay. This is a few days. Okay. Makes much more sense. Did you have a moment to look for something for me? Hmm? Something for you? Well, um, the photo with, um, the photo I asked you for? It hasn't come yet? Oh, sorry, but I said it a week ago. No, not yet. Maybe I'm too impatient. I'm sorry for rushing you. I you sent it. So much on your mind. I, I fucking I, sent it. Maybe you forgot. It's okay. No worries. Uh, with my pills, I... <laughs> pills. Pills. Uh, I almost forgot to take my pills. Stop talking <laughs> about taking your pills on the phone, so Jack. See, uh... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? What is wrong with Jack? <clears throat> I'm so I, uh, tempted to, to push Skip on this yes. conversation because yes, I can sure. feel the awkwardness. Let me know if you still haven't received the letter. Then I'll try... Well, maybe I'll find something else. Oh, really? Could you? That... It would be great if you could. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. I know it means a lot to you. Well, I won't hold you any longer. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Jesus Christ, Jack. You couldn't have fumbled up that conversation Damn, anymore. Did I mess up the address? Ugh. How am I gonna get those pills? I gotta get those pills. 
Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, I should invite Charlotte to do something herself. Yeah, you want Charlotte to come in here and see the fucking state of your house? Take the trash out. All right, we're going to take this trash out, and then we're going to end the episode when we get back Ugh. to the Why is it building. So wet? <laughs> Why do I have wet trash? You should know. Ooh. Also, here's uh, the imprint of the bird that hit my window tired. at the beginning of the video, the part that you didn't see. We never found the bird's body. I don't know why we didn't. Oh, shit. Throw the trash in the dumpster. The door open. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wouldn't want to leave the door open for anybody to break in again. What the fuck would have happened if I left the door open? Would he have just not let me leave? Or does that change the story? Because apparently I can die in this game. Or I can have a panic attack. I don't know. I think this next body, though, I'm going to... <laughs> Um, ma'am, you left your baby out here. What's going on? What the fuck's going on? Hold on. Old Jackie boy knows how to fix this. With the power of pills, anything can be accomplished. Pill day. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Oh shit, my pills are disappeared. I'm fucked. Everything's fucked. I love I love Jack's moods. He's either super calm, collected, the most cool guy you know, and then he's just oh, oh fuck, <laughs> oh shit, fuck. There's just no in between. Out of out of service. How is a locker out of service? Tell me that right now. Tell me what part of the locker is out of service that I cannot use it for. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to work with the trash. Nah. Throw that baby in there. Pow. There we go. Hey, hey. Who the fuck? I hear. I heard the running. You dropped your full pack of cigarettes, sir. Red Pete, I know you're in this van. I'll need to go back and listen to the radio report of like when. You disgust me. I wonder if Alice's mother has a film of this photo somewhere. I actually hadn't thought about it before. What the fuck am I? What? Who is? Who is yelling at me? Who said they disgust? Who I disgust them? Who the hell said that I discussed them? What is going on in the scares of this game? Was I supposed to see a person? Uh, I should call her on Friday. Yeah, for some reason, I have a sneaking suspicion the mom's not going to be happy to talk to you. <sighs> oh, God. Hey, this Why is like the I first time we've so showed much. up to work midday. All right, that is all the time that we have for this video. I'm really enjoying the autopsy part of this game. The story part is fucking bonkers. I have no clue what is going on, but maybe it's gonna come tie itself in later. I wish the scares were a little bit better, but at the same time, I am a bitch, so I'm appreciating the little baby jump scares, but I'm sure shit's gonna take a turn coming up in this next chapter. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to leave a like down below, comment on what other games you'd like to see me play in the future, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I will see you all in the next video. Farewell. They put so much time. They've been making it feel like you're actually, uh, oh, uh, hey, hey, oh, A hey, plus. What the fuck? I didn't know quick time shit was gonna be here. Why do I need quick time events for the fucking spine? The spine is removed. Oh, I guess we weren't. Oh, I'm so sorry.